Hi, so I was the mascot at my school, enough said, really. That's really all you have to say about it. It's kind of cringe, I kind of don't want to talk about it. So I don't know why I'm making a video about it. So freshman year, freshman year of high school, I thought it would be funny uh, to be the mascot. My ex had said something like, oh you can't do that and then his friend who was also my friend was like no um you can't do that like i was half joking half like serious like i just wanted to entertain bring a liveliness to the school a little bit when they said that i couldn't do that for whatever reason i was like um well now i'm going to do it my friend audrey started a petition a lot of people signed it i don't know who signed it um <laughs> nothing came out of it but it just kind of felt good to have a lot of people on my side and i never really got back to it after that and then senior year i actually started trying to get the school to do it all my friends were cheerleaders i'm not gonna be a cheerleader can't do that i can be the mascot though since i can't like do flips and like tumble or whatever I can still hang out with them, but I would have to be in a mascot uniform. That's the only way. They bought me the uniform and I got in there. I was in there. <laughs> My first appearance was the worst possible experience ever. I got in the costume, the shoes were huge. They were not secure, so I just tripped. Then the head was humongous compared to the costume. The costume was mostly just a shirt and pants. Like it was just normal clothes. So. The proportions were way off, babes. They were way off. A lot of weight on my head and shoulders and I could barely see. Could barely see, could barely walk. It was like a spirit day, about to be um, football season. It was like introducing the fun festivities. It was at the beginning of the senior year. I was having such a hard time maneuvering, moving, existing. And I just was like so frustrated with the whole experience that I, went to the bathroom and I just started sobbing in this costume. And thankfully my cheerleader friends came to help me. They were like, why are you literally running in this weird costume sobbing? And I was like, y'all don't understand. You don't understand. Um, <laughs> I was gonna quit then and there. I was frustrated. I was embarrassed because people were making fun of me or I felt the judgment of people that didn't particularly like me. I just felt very vulnerable, but then Fast forward, we had an assembly and that's where my big debut happened. The other thing was like a pick and choose. You can choose to go to this event after school, but this was during school. This was everybody in the whole entire school being there. And I was like, okay, but I need someone to help me and walk me around. So my friend Emma held my hand. She held my hand and she helped me walk around. Everyone didn't know who I was. Frankly, most of the people were scared. I was welcoming people into the gym where we were holding the assembly and most people steered clear of me. They did not want anything to do with me. Teachers, like my favorite teacher Ludlow, high-fived me and talked to me. Well, talk to Emma. I could not speak. I just did hand gestures and stuff. Because it was an assembly, I got out probably immediately after so that I wouldn't distract. And speaking of sports games, I did do some sports games, like maybe two or three. I did homecoming and other sorts of things. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it was only a few times, maybe four or five times. It was kind of bad because the school never like told me, oh, hey, we're having this event. You should show up as the mascot. It wasn't my costume, it was the school's, so I would have to have it unlocked by an administrator to get to it. I only did it a few times. It was fun, it was hilarious, it was a mood, but my senior year was when the pandemic started, so I couldn't really do it again, even if I wanted to. But they still have the costume. Sometimes they take the head and like put it on a teacher and they do something funny on social media. Funny as in just like, standing in the background while students talk about whatever is happening. It was like introducing me to the mascot costume world. So if I ever became a furry, <laughs> if I ever wanted to go to Disney World and be like Piglet or Mickey in a costume, I have some experience. <laughs> they would never hire me. I got better as I went. The first time when I was sobbing, I barely moved because I was like, I don't even know how to walk. How am I supposed to be lively? It's, it's a lot of effort. I was not really good at it. I give credit to all mascots everywhere. <laughs> it's hard to move in. It's hard to see in. And it's hard to, with the heaviness of all the items on you, it's hard to move around and be energetic when you have so much weight 
holding me down. And also my school was not excited about it. I tried to like get people up and like do the wave and like have fun, but no one gave a shit. I had my run guys. But if Disney wanted to hire me and let me be Tigger or Pooh, I would be down.